got it what are stem cells because mm-hmm. all i know about it is that when a baby is born mm-hmm. it has an umbilical cord which eventually falls out yeah but the umbilical cord is supposed to be a hot bed of stem cells correct correct uh, yeah also stem cells are produced within your own body inside the bone marrow correct correct so stem cells <clears throat> come from multiple sources yeah so uh, the umbilical cord you're talking about is one source um placenta uh, the bone marrow the fat so these are all uh, areas where your stem cells are produced but as we become our age for example uh, we can only take it uh, from a viable source uh, like your bone marrow or your fat and that's these are called adult stem cells also called mesenchymal stem cells these stem cells do not have the potential to turn into every tissue contrary to popular belief a lot of people think like oh i got stem cells i can do everything i can grow my skin i can grow my hair i can grow my you know organs that is not true so these adult stem cells mesenchymal stem cells used mainly for the similar fields like tendon ligament cartilage bone muscles could these help with the musculoskeletal conversion you're saying the stem cells that you extract from your bone marrow are mm-hmm. only used in kind of the skeletal in, system the muscular system exactly because that's the subsection say like if there is a technology that we extract stem cells from the skin we don't have that that will be used for the skin related so they only work selectively wow. but still they can convert into these four or five tissues which is helpful in regeneration of that tissue because most of these tissues are are fibers in nature so these things help form that tissue back the other stem cells you're talking about like uh, uh umbilical cord that is not we cannot take it because we are already grown up there is um well a structure from umbilical cord that you can extract save him like you see the blood banks that's that's done for different purposes that's for like if the baby needs something in the future if there's any uh, life threatening disorders or like a rare disorder they can use the cells um, back into that condition suppose for all of us if yeah. our parents had chosen to save our umbilical cords yeah would our life be easier from a regenerative perspective later on that's a good point because we all went through that phase like oh we need to save our babies uh, things um it is good for some rare diseases okay. but now we have the technology doesn't matter how old you are we can still extract some of your cells so the usage for absolutely necessity probably not as much but it is safe to have just a mental peace for the parents hey if something weird happens i cannot find a donor somewhere at least i have these cells or if these cells can be used for somebody who is suffering in the family so it's good to have it but obviously the technology has uh, gone so much now we really don't need baby cells when the baby were born to treat the baby's musculoskeletal system later because we can extract now Got it. Yeah. Okay. Before I let you move forward, yeah. Thank you for coming into our lives. I've been waiting for this podcast for <laughs> ages. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this is one of my favorite conversations from a yeah. biology perspective yeah. because I feel like biotechnology is advancing very fast. Yeah. And we talk about AI, we talk about virtual reality, we don't yeah. talk about these things enough. Yeah. So uh, we were talking about adult stem cells, like what they can convert, right? So there's there's a lot of people say like, what about embryonic stem cells? so embryonic is different embryonic means like when the baby is about to be born embryo at the embryo stage before the baby is formed before is born those cells are different embryonic cells they are called pluripotent that means pluri multiple those cells have the capability of hopefully forming your lung tissue your brain tissue they can convert into any tissue but adult stem cells like when we are born our tissues do not convert into other tissues basically you have to take it from a certain body part and put it in certain body part embryonic can be done that but there is tremendous amount of ethical issues right. how you going to extract the embryo but uh, there are some consented mothers you know there there some ethical issues so that's why it's kind of prohibited in most of the well controlled environmentally controlled uh, countries but that is also in existence in some countries 
So we have to tread this very carefully. Wow. Yeah. Okay, let yeah. me break down what you said a little bit. Yeah. When you said embryonic, it basically means like when a sperm meets an ovum, an embryo is formed, right? Mhm. In IVF, they basically in some processes within IVF, they try creating an embryo in a lab. Now you're saying that that created embryo can be used for stem cell extraction because it's a hotbed of stem cells mm-hmm. and those embryonic stem cells have the capability of possibly regenerating all the tissues in your body brain tissue skin tissue lung tissue what have you that's what you're saying yeah potentially because those tissues are very undifferentiated that means they do not have a character where they're going to belong so it has been done as i said not in us not in india but it has been done in other countries oh. but there is multiple issues involved with that thing how are you going to extract so there is a tremendous amount of ethical and the research issues still we need to but theoretically speaking absolutely yes not only theoretically it's been practically done in multiple countries as well i see the ethical issue with it because you're basically mm. creating a precursor to a human being yeah placing it in a laboratory and then extracting from that precursor to the human being yeah but can you extract stem cells from the embryo and then still allow the embryo to form inside a uterus and become a human uh no no so, so you're, you're killing you that. can you can only yeah that is the problem Damn. yeah 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 so that that's the ethical issue basically wow yeah, yeah. but yeah. there are mothers and fathers all over the world who are willing to well i mean not as i said like in some countries um could be any reason though so maybe a voluntary issue or a health issue they have to abortion whatever they need to do uh, those scenarios uh, you see it that's why you would not see it in a well developed country you will not see that thing but there is a research it's been going on in multiple countries as well um so just to just to bypass like okay there's a lot of ethical issues so what the technology is doing now i mean for a while is hey can we take an adult stem cell like yours and mine's which is multipotent not pluripotent multi means yeah it can turn into tendon cartilage ligament but it will not turn into other tissues so can we take that can we genetically program that so they called ipscs in a lab and that's been done as well to make a regular cell to become a pluripotent where in the future if you want to create some healing of the heart lungs we want to create a tissue that can be done that's going on we're talking future and present but not clinically used these oh. are all lab i'm just giving you like what's going on so this way there is no ethical dilemma because you're not taking it from a baby but you're converting a cell but how do we know if that cell will it become a cancer cell later will it cause tumor we have no idea but these are all happening right now got it because you're someone who's in the center of this industry studying it applying it the question i have for you is about the future again yeah uh would you say that we're 10 years away from that possibility where you're taking a multipotent cell and turning it into a pluripotent cell um i mean uh, as i said like you know there are a lot of uh, negative things that can happen uh so um i mean we would rather be very careful understand the whole thing behind it right now i don't think we have enough understanding what the long term effects of doing this thing for example if you do that implant in somebody what will happen 5 years 10 years down the lane will it turn into something that um we're still skeptical so i think it will take much longer than that but what we know is autologous like that means i take your own cells put it in your body there is zero risk that we know that's the reason we're doing these things right now because your body will accept your own cells but we don't know how uh, an external source will ever function in you um so i would say we're not there yet but research is happening it's like when you have a kidney transplant mm-hmm. sometimes you have to wait for the receiver's body to accept the organ Right. right right same logic yes mm-hmm. that when you take someone else's stem cells and put them in your body mm-hmm. may or may not work exactly but we yeah. know that if you take the stem cells from my body and put it inside my body mm-hmm. it does work right for certain applications exactly 
And also we don't need to do any immunosuppression or do anything, prepare you because you, body, you already have these things in your own body and they're taking it and putting it back in the same body. So you'll have zero issues with the rejection, incompatibility or any of those natures. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. We've done so many podcasts yeah, up yeah. till this point that I have yeah. some yeah. understanding from different people. No, no, great. I mean, like, see, this is, see, even though I'm not the researcher of the stem cells, I'm more like a clinician with orthopedic stem cells. But this is all we we imbibe in. This is so exciting for us. You know, there's so many possibilities that we know clinically what we can do, particularly in the orthopedic world. And all that we, you know, we're already doing what we couldn't do 10 years ago. And I can only imagine what we can do in the next five, 10 years. Yeah. Okay. If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out all the other clips we've uploaded on this channel. You'll find a clip related to almost every single topic as long as you're willing to search for it.